Brian and Nathan love to go out, get on that boat, plink around, fish for crappie, or anything that will bite. Normal activities of uh, part of growing up in father and son relationships. We did it when Brian was a kid. My name is Craig Keese. I am the father and grandfather of Brian, age 36, and Nathan, age eight. Brian and Nathan got up uh, at the campground early on Saturday morning. It was cold and windy. They decided to delay going out on the lake about two hours till about 10 o'clock and re-look at the weather. The weather was still cold and windy. In addition to that, uh, a front was uh, moving in which they had no knowledge of. They proceeded, got out on the lake, uh, began fishing, uh, really fairly close to where they put in. For whatever reason, they did not put on the life jackets. Both my wife and myself really, really agonized over uh, things like why, for what reason they didn't have the life jackets on that day. Normally, even in all the pictures that we have that Brian and Nathan took, on their fishing trips, they always had on life jackets. I believe a life vest is almost like wearing a seatbelt in a car, only the life vest goes with the boat. It's the best thing for the operator, for the all passengers to have them, have them on, make sure they're properly fitted, properly sized, and make sure they're properly fastened to where if an incident were to occur or a person were to become unconscious, that life vest would stay with that individual. Anybody should wear one, regardless of age, gender, swimming capabilities, um, no matter what they're doing, whether they're involved in you know, water sports on a personal watercraft or they're a duck hunter out on a river with no one around, I believe it's important to wear that, regardless of your background. Most people don't know that 90% of people that drown never tend to get in the water in the first place. Uh, unintentionally getting in the water, there's the body's natural reaction to have a gas reflex. Unfortunately, people that unintentionally get in the water, sometimes that's head first. And usually end up with a, basically lungs full of water. One of the things I'd like for people to remember while they're on the water, uh, wh weather is an ever-changing event and you need to be ch ready to change to those events. Uh, always having your life jacket on while you're on the water just it helps increase your chance of survival and getting back home safe to your family. The boat was found uh, by a, uh, another boater capsized, uh, I think around 11.30 and had been blown almost uh, two miles across the lake to the other side of the lake. Then the search parties began looking at the banks, brought in a helicopter. The bass fishermen were having a tournament at that time. They stopped the bass tournament and the bass fishermen started uh, looking for them. And they looked uh, until they had to quit uh, on Friday night. When we got to the campground and saw the situation, we knew there was no hope. And uh, that is a devastating, devastating, indescribable uh, part of our lives. Personally, we came to work each day wanting to have an end to it, but at the same time, you didn't want to be the person to find it. As the search continued longer and longer, you knew it was going to get worse and worse of what you found. Being a father now, I can, can't imagine the time that Brian's wife or Craig Case went through with the extreme loss of their family. When you lose someone at a young age, both of them at young ages that have great opportunities, uh, it, it uh, really it takes its toll. What we decided to do was take that energy, that sadness, into, and try to put it into some form 
that one honored them and for goodness sake, maybe getting the message out to the public. Looking at life jacket wear numbers or uh, data such as that, you know uh, th they don't understand until they go through it and then they understand it. And so we decided to speak out and be active and raise money and do whatever we could in cooperating with any partners that want to work with us. It's not easy. We put up uh, probably uh, 10 to 12 life jacket loaner boards. I have gone to every one of them. I've had to speak out at, uh, at each one of them. And I always uh, get emotional. I can't help it, sitting there looking at them. That's just the way it is. The reason for that stark image is to try to get somebody's attention. My wife made a comment at the lake while we were just holding each other and just about what a waste, what a waste of humanity, gold. And so we decided then we hope we could make an effort so other people could learn from this and, and not have to go back, not have to deal with this. But nobody goes to the lake mentally expecting an accident or to drown. 